still see modding coming at you guys with a uh, new video and today we're going to be going over Motorola Matter 3 for programming right now as you see I've got my Motorola Matter 3 and there's not a lot of actual videos out there to show you guys how to program it so I figured I'd do it for you guys and show you guys so what you want to first start off is go to your channel C and what channel C is, that's how you get it ready for programming. And as you do that, you want to turn it on by holding the squelch button down, the reset slash squelch button, and you're going to hear a loud beep as demonstrated right now. Once that's done, you want to slide it into your programmer till you hear that click. Make sure that your programmer is in fact plugged into your PC through the USB. You can get these programmers on eBay for the lowest I've seen is like uh, $70 roughly. So once you plug it in, you wanna go over here and you wanna click this. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna read your pager. So you wanna click read code plug. That's gonna come up and all of this. Now, this is a single channel. My other pager is a dual channel. With this, um, as you see, it only has channel F1. If you have two, it's going to say channel F2 right here, and everything's going to be moved down one. For your system, either do Motorola or user. If you know your pager's tones, do user. If not, do Motorola. I'll explain that when we go into the pager tones, but for right now, I'd say just pick user if you know your actual A and B tones, like on the dot. So in channel one, what you want to do is you want to stick in your Fire One's dispatch frequency. So whatever your tones come out of and your dispatches, that's what you want to stick right up in here. Your coding options, as you see, there's a list of one, but you want to choose this one because what that does is it gives you all these options. Now, as you see, there's six tones, all right? Four of them is for A's and B's. And then your five and six is your two long tones. Over here, as you see, it says on and off duty. What that means is, depending on the functions you choose here, the on duty, depending on what channel you're on, will only alert when, say, that they're the only two channels or whatever channels you select that will alert. So see right here how these say two on? If I were switched to, say, for channel C, if that's how I had it set up, only these two would go off instead of everything else. Your model options, if you have stored voice, I suggest 30 seconds. Fixed alert, what that means is it's going to beep uh, at full blast no matter what uh, level volume you have. Priority one scan only works if you have a two channel pager. And what that does is it automatically scans F1. It makes it as a priority. So you could be on F2, but if something comes out on F1, it automatically jumps to it. You want to learn, have your alert duration to standard. You want to have your call reminder. What that does is if you have stored voice, when you guys get alerted, it will beep. I think it's like every other minute to remind you that you have a call. Priority alert, what that does is, depending on what um, uh, A, B you have, what that will do is it will automatically set to where it makes scan one as your priority. Your privacy just leave off. If you have stored voice, you want to use revert N. And squelch level, just leave at eight. For your function switches, this can really be a verity if you have a two channel pager or a one channel pager. Um, so for instance, with channel one, switch A, I've got it set to zero where it's scan, it's F1. The alert type is tone. So when I get alerted, it goes do, 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 do. And then the on off duty is disabled because I wanted to alert for all my tones. And then the way it does is it monitors the frequency. So any tones that go off of your F1, it monitors it, you'll hear it. And push to listen, I have no. Same thing, only the difference is, this time it'll vibrate instead of it being toned. With this, it'll vibrate 
it'll, but it's only select calls. So what that means is you won't hear any other tones besides yours and it will only alert on yours. And same with that. Now, if you have push to listen on, what that does is when you get alerted, it'll go off and then you have to hold this button on the side to listen to it. <clears throat> you can't change any of these whatsoever. Now for your tones, I suggest getting a tone list like I have right here. Now when you stick in your tones, sometimes the programming software won't like it. So say for instance how this is 833.3, if I do 832.3, see how it bumps it down? That's okay because they'll still alert on the tones that you have that you set. It's just something with the way the programming is. But don't be alarmed, it's all right. It will still go off as long as you properly set it. So with that being said, now if you use Motorola, as you see, it changes. That's because Motorola has a slightly modified tone. Even if you have it on Motorola, it's still gonna like alert on the tones that you set but just so it's a closer variation I suggest user for you guys so I hope this guys I really hope this helps you out I know there's not a lot of videos and I know this may be sketchy but I really hope this guys or this informs you guys a lot I hope you guys enjoyed any comments or questions you guys ask down below I'll be sure to answer them hope you guys enjoyed this is TGLC and I'm signing off have a good day